do. There are these portals of grace that 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 that, that open up for us. That hey, welcome to this Windows channel. We might say yes to God. Do you have an Android device, an Android TV box, an Android phone with some of the latest software? This is uh, Marshmallow 6.0.1. Uh, you can turn your SDR. So I've got the Soft 66 SDR into a portable device using your phone. So here I'm listening to shortwave using this device. So it's pretty cool. And of course, you can change everything. You can really go through all the details here about what you want to listen to. And of course, change pretty much everything here. So you've got all the preferences, the game, everything is there. You basically turn your SDR into a portable device to using basically your Android phone with SDR touch and a special driver. So that's pretty cool for that. And so you can of course jump directly to a specific frequency. If they want to have WWV, put it on 15 megahertz. And you hear WWV. Now it's very weak, but uh, I was there a little earlier. So you just, you know, choose the frequency you want to jump to. Uh, there's all the settings that you can really want, basically, in here. It's quite amazing. Uh, I can tell you that. And it turns really your device into a portable uh, shortwave or scanner radio since, uh, you know, the SDRs have all sorts of. Um, basically um, frequency ranges so I you know I can listen to pretty much anything I want I can go for example here let's say I'll jump to uh, a medium wave AM frequency here which is CJAD so 0 0.800 done and set and here we go now you see that my filter is like way too large so you can change all of that of course you can change the filter size you can change pretty much everything all modes are supported FM broadcast FM AM lower sideband upper sideband everything there so you can just change the mode and here you are in sideband so you can say I'm gonna jump to uh, 20 meter band 14 100 whoops 14.100 done set and now I'm in upper sideband and of course you've got the display of every signal everything that you can see here so uh, whatever you want to have you just tune around and you can tap on the screen to whatever signal you see that sounds interesting on the bands now I did notice that with the phone my uh, Galaxy S7 it does introduce a little bit of noise so I'll have to check out how I can deal with that noise but it's mainly very very cool now SDR touch is free but if you want to activate the advanced functionalities it's uh, for me it costs 1099 Canadian and here you have the possibility once you uh, actually activate the full software to basically record what you are hearing uh, do pretty much what you want so it's very very nice for that so whatever you want to do amazing little device I can tell you um, I'm having a lot of fun playing with this and you can of course scan you can record there's the offset setting for when you want to listen to shortwave and to um, the VHF UHF typically so it's pretty cool for that so with SDR touch you uh, basically turn your device into a radio and it's pretty cool and uh, all you have to do is plug in the USB cable into your device now apparently if you have an older device uh, one of the things you'll need to do is understand how to root your device but on very recent devices like this you don't have to do that I hope you enjoy the videos and I have a little more about you know bringing portable uh, SDRs using your phone